Hi, I'm Monica Bradford from ScrapInspired.com and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make small photos for your project life. I have a lot of people that ask me how I make those 3 by 4 photos that you put in the pockets of Project Life. And personally, I often use Photoshop Elements. But I know a lot of you don't have access to that program or aren't comfortable with it. So I wanted to give you a free, easy way that you can create those same collages and then save them to upload and print at your Walgreens or Walmart or on your own computer, wherever you go to print your photos. So the first thing you need to do is open your browser and go to PicMonkey.com. www.picmonkey.com Dot com. Now PicMonkey is an amazing editor and I promise once you start you are going to get hooked. It is, has a free version that doesn't even require registration or signing in of, in any way to use their free version. And I'm going to start by showing you that and then I'll show you a couple other things you can do if you upgrade to the paid version which I think is only like $30 a year. So it's very inexpensive and affordable but the free version has a lot you can do as well. So once you're at PicMonkey.com, click on Create a Collage. Just click on that option. And what we're going to do is we're going to um, adapt a collage to work for our needs to print two smaller 3x4 photos on a 4x6 collage. So I'm going to click on Layouts. And there's a couple of different options here, but what I want is this one that says Biggie Smalls. And I'm going to select the first option, which has a taller photo and then two small photos. But we'll take care of that and make it be um, the two 3x4 cards. So next what we need to do is we need to adapt the size of this to make it be a 4x6. So I've done the calculations, and I know that I need something that is 1800 by 1200 and that's going to give me the 4 by 6 size. Now sometimes this is locked and it keeps it at a square. If that happens just click that little lock button to take away the um, set square so that you have the rectangle you want to make it be a 4 by 6 print. Now this side is exactly how I want it. I want that 3 by 4 card. And this side, if you wanted a 3x4 card that actually used two images, you could leave it exactly the way it is. But I'm going to show you how to get a f another full-size image. All you do is remove that cell. And now you have a 4x6 card that has a spot here for a photo and a spot here. And come on over here to this image that looks like a little mountain. It says images when you click on it. And you can... All you do is you drag and drop. So I'm going to just use one of their images that's already here, but you can also open your own photos from your computer, which is obviously what you would do for Project Life. But just for the sake of understanding how it works, you simply drag and drop it over. That's it. Then you can move it around, you know, put it, place it wherever you want in the window, and you have your photo ready to go. So let's just show you really quick how you open your own. So you click open photos and um, I'm already in one of my photo folders. I'll just click an image here. And so now there's that as a choice for me that I can drop in to the file. So now I have two photos. Now maybe I'm done. Maybe I just want to save it and be ready to go. So I could click save, give my file a name, you can decide how large you want it to be. I would recommend at least being in this Pierce range. Um, that should print at a fine quality, but if you want it to be an extra high quality photo, you can go up to the Sean level and that will be a higher file size. Either one is fine. I would not go down to the Roger. That won't print as nicely for you. So once you name it and decide what quality level you want then you just click save to my computer and once you save it uh, you can decide where you want to save it on your on your computer then it's ready to print and you can send it to Walmart or Walgreens or wherever it is that you do your printing but I want to show you something else that you can do so you have this photo this um, that's got your 3 by 4 cards and if you click edit you can do all kinds of fun things open it in the editor 
Now you can add text and you can do other fun things too, but let's take a look at text. Um, and you even have several different font choices that you could use. So let's take a look. Let's look at this ultra and say add text and it gives you a text box and you can move it in here and double click and you say, it might say, okay, back, oops, <laughs> spell it correctly, back to school. Okay, so maybe you want it to be all on one line and that's a little bit too big. So you can go over here to size and you can just drag it to be what size you want. You can also click on the drop down to make the decision about what size you want. Maybe you want it to be a different color. Maybe you want to make it yellow or green or blue. You just drag and move it around. I like white, so I'm going to come up here to the top and make mine be white. You can make it be bold or italic. Um, there's even some different blend modes that do different interesting things. But now you have this text added to your photo. Ready to print. How cool is that? Okay, so text, that's something you can do. This is all in the free version of this file. There's some um, editing you can do with effects for your photo that do different things to your image. And the ones that have this little crown on it are going to be ones that you need um, the, I believe that's the one you need to upgrade for. But so you can have these effects that you can add to your photo. Now it will add these effects to the whole photo instead of only one half. So if there's some of these that you want to add to your picture, you might go in the edit side and add those first before you create your collage. There is also um, some touch-ups that you can do to your images to make them um, a little bit better with you know fixing blemishes, fixing wrinkles. A lot of fun things there. Um, there's your text again. There's some images that you can add onto your photo. So let's say, let's go up here. Uh, there's hearts. Let's say you want to add in some hearts, drawn hearts. There you go. You can just add that anywhere you want. You can even change the color of it if you want to. All kinds of options there. Let's delete that off. Oops, let's select it and just hit delete if you don't want it. So there's lots of different things you can add. You can add a frame around your photo. Again, it's going to go around the whole thing, not just around. So that's, again, something you might think about doing before you create your collage. But there are all kinds of fun things. There's a text. There's textures you can add to the top, like space. <laughs> And you can change the size of it, how strong you want it to be, or how light you want it to be. Lots of fun things you can do with PicMonkey. So, the only thing that's different when is that when you are um, a paid upgraded member, you have a little bit more access to some things that you don't have access to in the free version. But a lot of, still a lot of really cool things that you can do with PicMonkey. And now I can save it to my computer if I'm done with it. I can share it um, straight to social media if that's something I'm interested in doing. And that's all you have to do. Then you get the file printed, you cut it to size and stick it in your project life and you're ready to go. Simple, easy. You have a 4x6 file that is ready to print and ready to send as a JPEG to any printing company that you would like to use. Hope that helps and I hope you are inspired to uh, add small photos to your project life.